What a tournament arc, man. And the best part of it might have been the professor, the instructor, who should be absolutely fired. How does this guy still have a job? Everyone, including the headmaster, is like, yep, yeah, we should fire this guy. Everything he did was straight up jail behavior. And there was a guy literally named Gile. Bro is not a high school student. He looks like he has kids, bro. Someone ID him, but Rumia surpassed Gile. Gile passed out, you know, passed out standing straight. But Rumia, you know, endured it till the end. And she won that event. I think Rumia is clutching hard, and the queen also seems to have good intention for Rumia, but for whatever reason, she had to let her go in the beginning, and it's obviously kind of an unfortunate situation. Now, there's a new girl showing up, right? I think there's a girl in the opening who looks like a Kudere girl who use, also uses a sword that's about to show up. So let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> right! Right, 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 right. This guy? The maid, extremely suspicious, also gave this pendant to her and is extremely pushing her to go meet Rumia in person. Very suspicious. <laughs> Glimpse Sensei is actually getting carried and he's so fucking hungry right now because he's still starving. <laughs> what did they call him? What did they call him? This year's Dark Horses. <laughs> Glenn Sensei. Yeah, it's Glenn. <laughs> So, these are Imperial Army people. They left without saying a word. Okay. So, Imperial Army. So, she's gonna be a transfer student then. <laughs> Yoink. What? That's gotta be sub error. There's no way her name has a fucking equal sign in it, right? It's real. There's, there's no way there's a fucking equal sign in it, right? There's, there's no shot, right? That's how her name's spelled? No way! What's the mission? Protect the queen? Because they're sus. Nah, I think they're fucking double agents. Even look at them. They already look so evil, bro. Nah, they're... Something else is going on. The maid is super sus too. No, it means just chill. Not at all. The queen and the princess is today's episode. Wholesome episode incoming? Someone feed Glenn, please. Someone feed him. Here's some food. What? You want me to teach you right now? あの、ここの私の出番、誰かと変身の競技だったな。はい。変身。フリュージョンの魔術がなくなっちゃって。で、変えてくれないかと。お前はどうしたいんだ。え、好きだったろ。はい。オッケー。変身って何だかその違う私に何の問題もない。でも、みんなが先生と優勝目指して盛り上がってるのに。Imagine she fails and lets everyone down. お祭りだ。まずはお前らがめいっぱい。Have who is this girl based off of? Kind of reminds me of Rumi a bit, right? 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 It is Rumi. La Kirika. And this is Rumi's voice actor in a different pitch, right? It's gotta be, because it's not Rumia's voice. It sounds different. Alright. Sensei Riz? What does this Kirika look like? Show me. Is it a big titty waifu? Uh oh, Sisti's gonna start doing some shit. Uh oh. You know, there's something there. Where did that man <laughs> Take the food and run. <laughs> Take the food and run. <laughs> Eat it all. 
Eat it right now, but for Rumia gets here, run! It's actually, it's actually trying to fucking be like, wait, there's another Rumia? How could this be? Oh, wait, that's the fake one. Ooh, hello. Take a bite of the sandwich, though. Take a bite. He gave up the food! <laughs> no, it's a misunderstanding. I bet secretly deep inside, she does want to make food for Glenn, but she can never admit it. How long will the starvation art go for, man? He's actually getting lightheaded, can't even see. Wow, that's a perfectly cut main tank sandwiches. My angel. Rosa, fucking master chef. Shironeko got up early. Yep, she did. She got up early, made the fucking sandwich for Glenn. Shironeko and Glenn. Now, I don't, I don't condone the relationship between them, anything romantic, but they got a special bond. No, that's just the Sundari part. The self awareness. Title drop again. It's him, right? It's a bastard instructor. Queen! Hello, mother. <laughs> and the pendant's still there. Remember, the maid's sus. I can't tell if this guy is evil or not, though. Because, like, I know the maid is probably evil. The Imperial Guards are also evil. But this guy's intentions, I couldn't really decipher last episode. He might be clueless. <laughs> This made again, this made again, bro. Eleanor. She lying! She lying! It's been a year since we obviously left the Imperial Army. Damn. That's kind of fucked how she's straight up just ignoring her daughter. Literally right beside. They haven't seen each other in a long time. And it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna ignore you entirely. Just talk to Glenn and act like you don't fucking exist. To meet my daughter in secret! Ermiana! Oh, careful, dependent, though. If you get close, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. Who are you? You're not my mom? Oh no! Oh, I mean, this is the script and we're supposed to be dead, but like, oh, I feel bad for the queen. Yeah, you're crazy, Heika. Damn, you just need the Ermiana princess's full name, huh? Glenn probably knows what's going on. Epidemic. I think they both obviously understand, and the fact that she's, you know, kind of playing along with this kind of means that, yeah, we're kind of cool, but I would love them to connect back. Like, there's going to be a wholesome scene where he's going to start crying and yell, Mom, right, and it's going to be a hug, but I'm not sure this is the right time. Aww. This is so sad. Oh, hey. Is she just... No, it's as a teacher. As a teacher, guys. <laughs> this guy again? <laughs> Zeros, are you <laughs> evil? <laughs> so he was okay the entire time. This motherfucker. <laughs> Whose vision? The other Imperials? Gotta be with the Kudere guy, right? Kudere girl the guy? Oh, what, was the, what is this lore? What is this lore? 
Imperial Guard General Commander Zedos. What is his accolade? Veteran to set fought on par. Greatest swordsman Johannes. Divine War 40 years ago. Important lord that may have to do with the floating castle. Maybe not. But great swordsman Johannes. What's going on? What's going on? Are these important characters that I need to know? What is that eye? The eye has like all seeing vision? That's a crazy cool power. He just kind of already saw, uh, even though he's like here. There's something very cunny about this. Just grabbing her, fucking yoinking her head tail every time that she goes out, bro. <laughs> this Kudere does not really act like a Kudere, huh? She just fucking just goes off. She's just like, nah, let me just go in. So you're telling me I can just go in and fuck shit up, right? Let me go in. This happened again. They did this shit again where <laughs> this dude will tell her real or something about, you know, this is what we should do. And then real is like, so what you're saying is I should do something completely different. And then bro just like looks at her and then cut scene. <laughs> Let's go, Teresa. I, I think Teresa is uh, very underappreciated and she's always in the room just like holding her face like this, right? I, I see her. I see her with the twin tail girl behind. She's, um, I guess, like, in terms of screen time and importance in the anime, like B tier characters, right? They're not like A tier, like, you know, Rumia and uh, Sisti, but they're behind the scenes. I, I see them. Special ability amplified, that's right. We don't really know, right? ASMR Riz. The secret's out? Sandwich coming in clutch. Thank you, Sisti. Oh! I, she's probably happy to hear that, right? She's probably happy. This son, someone else made that or headed for the trash. Apparently, the tsundere aspect. But it'd be too, you know, I made extras. It'd be sad if it goes in the trash. It'd go to Glenn instead. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, he said it's super good. Oh, imagine he says it was fucking trash. He's like, it's pretty mid, to be honest. And it's just thing is to get fucking blasted. <laughs> that was good. It was good. Oh. He's nailing it. He's nailing it right now. 100% Riz Dubbin. You can hear the cuckoo soundtrack in the background, bro. You can hear the cuckoo. That part. I love how the entire soundtrack is just supposed to be playing whenever dumb shit happens. It's just cuckoo noises. Rumia. Or should I say, Princess Ermiana? Who did this? She must have done it, right? In order to forget the memories. I doubt this is something that happened while traveling alone or some shit and something bad happened. I bet she did it herself to make sure that she forgets and doesn't get reminded of the pain. That you're the princess with the Amplify? Of course! Amplify is that taboo? Damn, it's crazy how, how like... How stigmatized these special people are. And I'm not sure if they all can Amplify. But like, she is some special variant and she can Amplify. だから私の処分はこの国の未来のために必要なことだ。私は心のどこかで陛下を許せなかった。怒ってるんだと思います。あの人を思い出しなくてもよみたい。私は。That's going to happen. That's 100% going to happen where she starts crying, tells haha and then oh my and it's going to oh my god. At the end of this arc after we save the queen. I got a new mom and dad now. 
人は何かの選択をする際に悔いが残らないように選択しろ。He's probably talking about his own like experience by joining the Imperial Army and trying to be like this mage of you know justice, but realizing that was full of regrets too, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if we're no matter what we make a choice, we're gonna regret it. Fuck it, just ball out, do whatever you want. Well, it is good advice, but there's also a lot of nuances, right? It, you, you can't just be like, oh, I'm in college, but I see all these fucking Twitch streamers playing games and, you know, making a lot of money. I'm gonna drop out of college and pursue my dreams because my heart's telling me. I'm not sure if that's your heart telling you. I think your brain, monkey brain, is tricking you into thinking that this is the easy way out, but it's really not like that. No, 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 no. Don't drop out of school. Don't quit your jobs. Do not, do not work on it on the side and then make the job, uh, make the hop, okay? Da -da 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 it's a, the, the as long as you don't harm anyone, you should follow your heart. But sometimes there needs to be a balance between your emotional, irrational decision makings. As well as the logical side, there needs to be a harmony. Okay, there needs to be a harmony between the brain and the heart. Lumia, Omae wa dou shita in da? Watashi, jibun no kokor. Ore wa mukashi, teiko kugun ni shozok suru madou shi datta. Shigoto gara, Omae no sono rocket to mattaku onaji mono, to aru ichiban erai o kata ga minitsukete ita no mita kota. Queen, 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 queen. Datta ra kotae wa tokku ni deterun janai no ka? Mom still has it? Urami tsurami demo nan demo ii. Onne o butsukeru koto kara hajimete mita kara do da. What a good sensei, man. Ma, san zan ni... Wait, someone's coming though. Someone's coming. Mata ano tsumetai me o muke rare tara to omou to... Isho ni tsui te kite kure masen ka, sensei? Aww. Yatte yaru ka? Come on! Who did a girl? Riel, show up! Fuck him up! Show me what you got! I mean, we don't need them. Glenn can probably clutch, but. You're under arrest. <laughs> we are assassinating the mom? That's your plot? Interesting. I interesting. I didn't think they'd go this direction. They just say, like, you are under arrest for trying to kill the queen. What the fuck are you cooking up here? We don't have proof. No. She would never do that. So it's got to be a similar group that didn't want her to be alive because of Amplify that has hired or somehow... Maybe it's within the royals too, right? Because these are Imperial Guards. They must have been bought out or they're betrayers, but people within the kingdom must fear her still and is now want to get rid of her and this is the second attempt at it. Ooh. What? Are you sure? Sometimes I hate how a sensei is not OP and can just like solve everything by himself. Right? Ah, it sucks that he just got knocked out like this, but it is what it is. Now what? They're gonna just poke us? Real. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the queen showing up was her last thing. You gonna die next, bitch. This is my last time seeing you. That's what Rumia thinks right now. The queen. No! She don't let go! Do something! Come on! Wait! What? Oh, he got up real quick. Okay. Yeah, Shinnaku would be mad too, but Rumiya, you're so important. The queen did say, take care of Rumiya. Yeah, she did this episode. That's the promise. 
この処刑命令にはかのれ反撃者同盟どうするんですかどうどういつの皿は左舷に傾くべしおめえは働くなってやばかったんだ Same brother, I don't wanna work either Yo, we're going to Assassin's Creed Parkour We can just contact her? Indirectly? What? Serika's voice sounds very monotonous. I think she's also been duped right now by the maid or someone else. Is this really her? She's not possessed. I guess she's worried that other people would hear right now, but we're still talking to Glenn through the phone. It's not like we're being so secretive, but okay, basically, there's not much that I can do right now. Only you. Think about the meaning and find some way to come before the queen. <laughs> I mean, there's, it's very easy to just come before the queen, but um, what do you mean only Glenn can do it? Only him. What is so special about him? He's an imperial ex-mage fighter of hand... Uh, he got, you know, fucking Zafool and hand fighting. Only he can do it. What is the secret meaning between only he can do it? <laughs> oh! Wait, these should be back up though! Cliffhanger? God damn it, bro. God damn it. What's going on, bro? What is going on, man? What is the plot right now? The queen is obviously getting gaslit. And we are also kind of also really fucked because the Imperial Guards and this guy named Zeriel or something, right? He is basically... Whoa, the monitor went off. He is basically like... um, What's the word? He's basically as strong as someone referenced by Johannes, right? That Johannes guy was pretty strong back in the day, so he is no joke. He is actually a formidable foe. Now, I'm not sure what it means for, you know, only, you know, only Glenn can do it. What does that mean? There's a simpler meaning maybe I'm too fixated on. I'm also kind of confused on what's going on here with the Kudre girl. Because I thought that they were basically on the lookout against uh, the Imperial Guard, but they did show interest in Glenn. He is ex-mage, and they're kind of looking up the ex-mages too, right? Because he is Imperial Army. We should be friends. We should notice them, right? So I expect them to help us out and eventually for her to become a transfer student. And at the end of this arc, it's going to be some wholesome moments where, you know, your highness and Rumia, they're all going to have a heartwarming ending where they're crying. It's like, mom, daughter, stuff like that. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.